Hi, I'm Mitch Smith, and I'm the owner of Two Rivers Fly Shop in Albany, Oregon. And uh, I've been tying flies and fly fishing for a little over 20 years. Today I'm going to tie a orange steelhead fly that uh, I came up with a couple of years ago that turned out to be a really good cutthroat pattern. So I've scaled down the hook, I tie it on. So the hook I'm going to be using is a, it's a Dairiki 285 size 6. Um, it's a nice heavy wire hook and, and the curve is real similar to uh, most steelhead hooks. Uh, so it makes this fly look real nice. Uh, this is a Vivas 14 knot uh, burnt orange thread. And we're just going to start that on the hook. Wrap it down just a little past halfway. And in the back of this fly is going to be burnt orange tinsel. This is a uni mylar in a size 10. And uh, one side is kind of peacock green, the other side is a burnt orange. This looks real nice on a hook, especially for these fall patterns. Tie that down real tight, right in the middle of the hook. And then with the tinsel, I always start in the middle. To get a good looking tinsel body, I have to stretch the tinsel. And it helps if you're not tying over thread. So we're going to put a good stretch on this tinsel and work our way down the hook. past the point. So we're going to stop, make one straight wrap, keep a good stretch on the tinsel and work our, work our way back up the hook towards the middle where the thread's hanging. Tie that off right there. We've got a good stretch on it so you want to get it tied off good and tight. If you bump any slack in your thread it'll just unravel off the excess and then the rib on this is going to be small oval gold tinsel. Tie the rib in now. Tied down good back towards the middle of the hook still. <clears throat> and at this point we're going to make a dubbing loop. It doesn't have to be very long because we're only using the front half of the hook. on our thread here for help the dubbing stick to it. This is uh, Arizona Semi Seal dubbing and uh, I believe it's called Steelhead Orange, just a nice blend. Get that in our dubbing loop, kind of even it up a little bit. Spin that up. Take a brush and brush that out a little bit. We're just going to cover up where our tinsel is tied in and wrap forward. Don't want to get too close to the eye. Leave yourself about an eighth of an inch on this size six hook. Tie off our dubbing loop at that point. Snip off the excess there. Brush that out a little bit. <clears throat> I'm brushing it out straight rather than stroking it back because I'm going to pull a rib through it. If I stroke it back, the rib will just mat down all the fibers. So I'm going to go the same direction with my gold tinsel that I wrapped so that it kind of drops down in between the wraps of the dubbing loop. that off at the eye. Snip off your tinsel. But at the bottom there I'm just going to pull that back and tie it back. So I've got my dubbing in there. Now I'm going to tie on my dyed orange guinea hen collar. This is only a size 6 hook and it's not as long as most steelhead hooks so this feather doesn't have to be super wide. Stroke those fibers back. Tie these in good and tight so they don't pull out while you're creasing the feathers. Cut the tip off. Put that in our 
hackle pliers. Stroke those back each wrap. Two and a half or so wraps out of that. Usually the stem gets pretty thick by that point. Get that tied off good. back and then wrap back up into the hackle a little bit. Get a good angle on it and then it leaves you a little base there to tie your wing. Get your dyed orange bucktail <clears throat> but instead of using the bright orange use this kind of burnt orange stuff out of the middle that we never seem to get to use for anything else. And this stuff's pretty thin so you want to get what feels like about twice as much as you actually need because <clears throat> the tips taper a lot. And then this stuff's kind of hard to stack, so I'll just kind of pull out the long ones and lay them next to the short ones and just stack it by hand. Just so it reaches just back to the bend of the hook there. On this type of a wing, I always pre-trim them. Some people tie them in full length, but then it flares and it's all in your way. <clears throat> Once I have my measurement, I just cut it off the stub the length I want, and then I don't have to deal with that excess. I'm just tying in those butts. That tied in good and tight, and then we're just going to put a little accent on this of orange crystal flash, about four strands. Stroke all that back, and I'm just going to wrap a head on this to cover up the butts of those of that bucktail. I'm just going to whip finish. Five turn whip finish there. And come in and cut your crystal flash just a hair longer than your wing. <clears throat> and that's it. The fall steelhead pattern that really turned into a fall cutthroat pattern because the cutthroat seemed to love it. Thanks. Shall I see thy bright trust in the sunlight, the heather of hills and the rising Lying green hills are